Hello everyone. We will continue the topic message class. And in the previous video, we created one message class through SC91 transaction code. We gave one message text order number is incorrect. And it is front in front of which message number? 000. zero, zero. In a message class, we can give up to 1000 messages and the message number varies from 000 to 999. It means we can give up to 1000 messages in a message class. Now, our target is how to display this message into our program. So now we will move on to our program. So this is the program which we developed previously in which we have a single input of order number. Now what is our requirement? Whenever user will give a wrong input of the order number and click on to execute button, we need to give a message that order number is incorrect. How we will give that particular message. Whenever you will give a wrong input, this wrong input is on the right hand side. It will go to O number column of order header table. It will check in this table. Do we have this order number? If the order number is there in the table, it will bring the data of the order number into this internal table. If the order number is wrong, nothing will come into this internal table. It means our query has not processed successfully. If we are giving right input, data will come into this internal table. If we will give a wrong input, nothing will come into this internal table because if you are giving a wrong input, how it will bring the data input into internal table because the order number is non-existent in the database table. So we can check this by two ways. Our query processed successfully or not, we can check by two ways. Yes, you all know we have two ways. Either we can check based upon size sub RC or we can check based upon internal table also. Suppose if this query has not processed successfully, how I can check? If I will write if size sub RC not equal to zero. This is not equal to symbol. This is not equal to symbol. If you will give a wrong input, so whenever this query will execute, after that the size of RC value will be other than zero because we gave a wrong input. Now what is other way to check? Rather than size sub RC, I can check based upon internal table also. Suppose I am writing if LT underscore data is initial. In the previous videos, we put so much stress and this is the point where maximum mistakes has been done by the freshers at the initial level. I gave a right input. Just understand, I gave a right input. So whenever you will give the right input, it will fetch data from database table and data will come into this internal table. Whenever data will come into the internal table, it means internal table is not initial, is not null, is not blank because the data is coming into internal table. Now, you gave a wrong input. Whenever we will give a wrong input, there's, the data is not in the database table. If the order number is not in the database table, how it will bring into internal table? So no data will come into the internal table. So in that case, internal table will be 
is initial is null is blank so internal table is initial means this query has not returned anything so you can check based upon either condition it is totally totally your wish now if size sub rc not equal to 0 i will give a message now whenever you want to give a message the keyword is message now whenever we want to give a message we have to start with keyword message now we need to give the type of the message in the previous video we covered we have total six types of messages about error information status or success message warning message exit message and i told you out of these six types of messages you will always get a chance to work on error information or success or we can say success or status message suppose we will start with error error type of message so what is the one word for error message e what is the message number message number is 000, zero, zero. and in the bracket i will give the message class this is the message class and i will close the bracket and dot so whenever you will give a wrong input size sub bar c will be other than zero after that and this particular message will trigger i will check the syntax and activate the data now the most important part in terms of error message error just think whenever you have a error the program stops there itself it will not continue further the same thing is here whenever the error message will trigger the control will come out from the program it will not it will not continue with the rest lines of the logic suppose simple example whenever you will give a wrong input error message will trigger on which particular line 22nd line and the control will come out from the program so whenever control will come out from the program the other lines of logic will never never execute so this is the last line which will execute whenever you will go for the message as we are going for which type of message error message so from 22nd number line system will raise the error message and control will come out from the program itself now once i will show you in debugging mode you should you will understand fully because this is important part how error message behave how information message behave because in the future we need to work on information message also suppose i am putting a break point on 16th number line for the best understanding i am running the program i am giving wrong input suppose whenever i will give the wrong input this is the wrong input this wrong input will go to o number column of this particular table it will check do you have this order number currently my internal table has zero records i am executing the query using f6 and you can see the size sub rc value is other than zero it is 4 it means this query processed unsuccessful this query has not returned anything and if you see internal table has how many record zero records so it's your wish you want to check based upon is initial or you want to check based upon size sub rc not equal to zero now size sub rc not equal to zero condition is true it will raise this message now what is the type of the message it is error message whenever this message will trigger control will come out from our program itself it will simply simply come out after raising the message 
so other lines of logic will never never execute because control came out from the program itself now whenever i will do f6 you can see i got the message and it is in which color it is in red color now control came out from the program itself whenever i will go to back button whenever i will go to back button now the question is comes question come control will be on the input screen or i need to run the program again to pass the correct input i need to run the program again to pass the correct input because when you gave a error message the control came out from the program itself suppose if i will go to back button have you seen we are not on the input screen we are not on the selection screen of the program if we want to pass the input we need to run the program again this is the most most important part because whenever you give error message control came out from the program so whenever you want to give the input again you need to run the program again to pass the correct input now if i will give the correct input if i will go to execute now order number is 1 currently internal table has zero records whenever i will execute this query sai sub r c is 0 whenever sai sub r c is 0 one record is coming into internal table it means internal table is not initial this if condition will be false so error message will not trigger and we are displaying this particular record so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we studied how to give a message in a program message is the keyword message type one word message type message number and in the bracket you need to give the message class and in our current program we use the message type error and the most important point we studied in case of error if you are going for error type of message once error message will raise the control will come out from the existing program if you want to pass the input you need to run the program again because error message will come the because in case of error the control came out from the existing program in the next video when we will cover information message this topic will make more more sense to you so that's it in this particular video thank you